Hi, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. Today's video is another Q&A session all about wet baths and showering when you're boondocking. doing a Q&A beginning with a que some questions from Lyle, one of our YouTube watchers. And he's looking at buying an RV and most of the small ones have wet baths. So he wanted to know, what is a wet bath and how do we use one? Well, that's actually not a bad question because I used to work for a small adventure cruise company and some of their boats had what they referred to as a toilet, which is a shower toilet combo and a lot of people were a little bit iffy about that I'm like oh that's kind of weird I'd really have my shower separate but it's really not a big deal one of the reasons we love this is because we wanted a small compact trailer and by having a small compact trailer we have a wet bath which saves a lot of room now sometimes we're over at our friends and we see their their separate shower and be like oh a little you know shower envy but we're actually very happy with this how does it work well, it's just one big molded piece in here. There's really no seams other than where the belly band, um, where the two pieces meet up here, and then that's all sealed up. So there, this really is very watertight all the way around. It's uh, literally one molded piece. So in order to use a wet bath, how this works is uh, you just take your hose here, hold it up over your head. Psh and then we've installed the little shutoff valve here that works really good. We just stick that in the sink between shampooing up and between rinsing and just hang it back up when we're done again. So it just uh, drains down here. Do the walls of the wet bath use the same walls as the camper? Uh, it's actually a separate wall. So again, this is just one big molded piece. So it really doesn't share the same wall because it's its own own module I guess you could say uh, totally separate than the fiberglass shell of the trailer on the opposite side up here do you have a shower curtain that separates your shower area from the toilet or do you, when you're taking a shower does it spray everywhere yeah. there's a shower curtain that comes from escape we switched ours out to one that was less plasticky and a little bit more flexible we actually cut it down too so it wasn't as big so our shower curtain comes around the side here the biggest thing is protecting the door and not having water come out the bottom so the shower curtain comes around like this and then Rhonda installed some magnets boom boom and that's it And that stays in place like that. Now here's what other people have done. You can get a full shower curtain and basically what I've seen other people have done is uh, bring it around here with other magnets. So if you wanted to you could bring it, what I have seen some people do is bring it around the back here with a magnet on the toilet so that you still have your elbow room right here and then bring it around and then install some magnets here. So you could, in theory, have a shower curtain that comes around the whole thing and then you would probably have a little less to, to wipe down. So this is what we do and right now this works just fine for us. Yes. Can you sit on the toilet while taking a shower? Yes, yeah, so you can still sit on the, show the toilet and take a shower. How much bathroom cleaning do you have to do? I feel like we cleaned our bathrooms more at our condo than we do it here. So this is pretty low maintenance. We do take the shower curtain and we do wash this every so often, but after our showers, we just wipe everything down. Basically we take a microfiber cloth 
and Rondo's usually the one that cleans it and just wipes everything down. You could squeegee, that's what we asked, we used to have to do with our glass shower door back in our condo and that was actually kind of a pain, those get dirty really easily. And then uh, we wipe down the floor and just wipe everything down and it really only takes, it doesn't take more than about five to seven minutes to completely clean the bathroom and that way it gets all the dog hair <laughs> out of here too because it just gets just gets everywhere. So I really don't feel like cleaning is a, a big deal and when we take showers it's a great opportunity to actually clean the whole bathroom. So one concern that Lyle had was soap scum build up while taking a shower. And does that happen in here like it does at home? Well we used to have a glass shower at home and in this one because as soon as we finish showering, we're wiping down the entire area and drying it. We have yet to have any kind of soap scum. Now, if you have any concerns about that, I would say go ahead and clean it if you need to, but we have yet to do that. If we have a sink, do we brush our teeth in it? Yes, we have a sink in here. It is a little tiny corner sink, but you know, it's just fine. Uh, we do use it. Uh, sometimes we'll use the sink in the uh, kitchen if we're both, you know, brushing our teeth at the same time. Is, is there really enough room to move around in the shower? Yes, there is. Is, is there a lot of humidity when you take a shower? Uh, it's shower. It does it definitely get uh, humid. We keep the fan and the windows uh, open in the main part of the RV, and then we always have this uh, open and then also going while we're taking a shower and it does dissipate the humidity really pretty fast. And then the windows cracked, it works good. When you finish showering and you're drying yourself off, can you actually dry off in here or do you have to actually step out of the shower to do that? Yeah, there's not a lot of room for that. So I usually step out. But we do put a towel or something on the floor and then step out in the RV. Makes drying off a lot easier. And finally, Lyle asks, does your camper have to be completely level in order for the shower to drain properly? It doesn't really need to be perfectly level to have the shower drain, but I think it definitely helps. The main reason to have your RV level is for the operation of the refrigerator and just comfort. You can tell if you're walking in your RV, if you're stopped at a parking lot and, and hooked up to your tow vehicle that, you know, if you're off, it feels really weird in here. All right, as a bonus, we wanted to talk about just a couple of things we've done in here to make it a little bit more usable for us for being full time. One of the main things, and we've talked about it on another vehicle is uh, video, is the Isogenix shower head. This is great because you can sing in the shower, la 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 la. But uh, really what this does is it uh, gives you better water pressure with less water. So this is really great. We also changed the the hose here. The one that came out with it was really stiff so we never did use that. We used the original but we found this this one at Home Depot and it's nice and long so we have it coiled up here and we just added this to So we took out the original uh, holder for the shower head and we actually use it like that. It actually works really well. So that works, that works really good for us. One of the other things we did is I did add this shutoff valve. The one on the Isogenic still uh, leaves water running out, so it wasn't ideal, so I did add this, the total shutoff valve, which is really great. And we did add the, the toothbrush holder right here. This is moved around a couple of times, so that work, works best for us. And just lots of hooks, towel hooks. These are all suction hooks we got at Bed Bath & Beyond so we can hang stuff on. All right, one of the other things we do is we keep a piece of Reflectix in here most of the time. And we keep that in here most of the time that we're not showering. Uh, the reason is this, this window is a non-thermal window, so it's really hot in here. It's about uh, 80 degrees today, and the sun's coming in over here, so it's, it's pretty warm in here right now. This helps immensely, and also when it's cold outside, you can really feel the cold air coming in. That's so everything we've done in here to make our showers more awesome. So that concludes our Q&A about a wet bath, but what about how to conserve your water in your gray tank when you're boondocking or dry camping. Well, I'm going to start by talking a little bit about how we conserve our gray tank 
and our water while showering. To begin with, we do something called a navy shower, which is to say we get wet and then we turn off the water, and we soap up, and then we turn the water back on and rinse and turn the water back off. Simple as that. When you're boondocking, you can't just empty your black tank and your gray tank wherever you are and let the environment try to absorb it all. But most boondocking places will allow you to dump like a one or two gallon like hand pail of your dish soap. So when we do dishes, when we're boondocking, we will do our dishes in a container like the one that's on the floor down here. And then we take that soap, and if it's not too dirty, we'll save it and use it for flushing the toilet. And we put our water in something like this, and we use that when we're flushing the toilet. In addition, when we're taking a shower, we'll actually um, close the drain so that this basin that I'm standing in in the shower will actually collect quite a bit of the shower water and I can then scoop it into this bucket down here and actually dump it outside just like dishwater. Now we make sure that we're using biodegradable soap for both washing dishes and for showering. Now you do have to keep an eye on the water level but this lip is about two inches high and we have yet to ever get close to it for the most part. Our showers take about two gallons so this container down here full of water basically is all we're using. But do make sure when you're boondocking, whether it be Forest Service, BLM, or other, uh, any other free boondocking spots, to check the regulations to see if you are allowed to dump your dishwater and your, your shower water. But never out of your gray and black tank. Never, never, never. So what if you don't want to do all that rigmarole of the inside shower as a nice day, 78 degrees? Take a shower outside. We've actually done it quite a bit. Got our towel right there. It's all perfect. Air dry. Life is good. But then you're like, oh, kind of wide open here. I don't want anybody to see me. What we have done, because we don't have a shower tent, but we'll show you one of those, is we have actually brought our truck around and on our Ford, the, the doors come out like that. We parked it right here and had really good privacy on both sides. We don't really want to carry around more stuff with us, so we have resisted getting a shower tent for that reason alone. And the truck parked in the right way with the doors open, with a, a kind of a tarp there to uh, make sure the truck doesn't get wet, has actually worked really good. So there's other ways of taking outdoor showers, and we're going to go check out what our friends do, because they got a pretty cool setup too. Another way to have an outdoor shower is to get yourself one of these bad boys. You fill this up with water, put it on a stove, heat it to the temperature you want, and then you basically use this up here to pump it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's already pumped up, you get that. <laughs> so you're basically pump it up and then you've got a, a valve over here. Turn that on and you get shower coming out. And depending on how much you turn it on, and how much pressure you have, which I just let out, you're gonna have your shower. <laughs> so that's really good for people that don't have an outside shower like we have, really cool system. And then uh, they can use it with their outdoor shower tent. All right, so that's just a couple of examples of what you can use for an outdoor shower. There's also the solar bags. Uh, I've heard kind of mixed results on those depending on the temperature outside, but that is another option. And if you have any others, let us know. Put those down in the comments below. Give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Yeah, please include any tips that you might have for water saving. And until next time, happy trails. Hi, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Angie. <laughs> we are adventures. Hi, I'm Rhonda. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that one out, right? <laughs> okay, well.